Webster here along with Daniel Marins, Pete Callahan, and Rachel Calvert. Welcome to our final hour of Take Action News on this, the last show of June 2013. And by the way, folks, if you missed any part of that last hour, and it was a great one, <laughs> starting with Daniel Marin's take on the Family Research Council logo that they have for some action that they are taking tomorrow, which certainly does look like... Um, Oral sex. Um, you gotta, you gotta sign, you gotta subscribe to our Take Action News TV channel on YouTube, and that way all of the videos from this show and all the other shows they get delivered to your inbox at your convenience. And you will definitely, I promise you, if there's one segment that you watch and that will give you a great laugh and that you'll chuckle at, it's that segment that we had an hour ago with Daniel Marins. You don't want to miss it. So go to our YouTube channel, Take Action News TV, and subscribe. It's free. I guarantee you will enjoy that one. What a great hour we have coming up. Alan Rosenblatt with uh, social media will talk a little bit about Bill and Hillary Clinton on Twitter and what that means. Also, some of the trending this past week on Twitter with uh, Wendy Davis, who staged that remarkable, remarkable filibuster in the Texas Senate to try to block efforts at restricting women's rights. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, As we always do, though, at the top of the segment, a little bit of a, a funny story to tell you, and we'll keep with our sex theme for the first sex minutes, and that is an amazing story out of this great state of Pennsylvania in which a, uh, a pair of, uh, of Pennsylvania residents, Richard McBride, age 37, and Jennifer Harvey, age 41, they decided apparently on Monday afternoon to have sex outside in a public park next to a baseball diamond. This was at Naylor's Run Park around 4 p.m., and I'm sorry, it was a Tuesday afternoon. And all of a sudden, there they are, and a swarm of police officers <laughs> come by on bicycle. That's part of a, a tra- training ride that the cops on bikes have. 25 police officers on bicycle suddenly come up, and according to the Upper Darby Police Superintendent Michael Chilwood, he said, there they are on the first baseline. There's a bench. She is bent over on the bench. And our friend is behind her, behind her with his pants down to his ankles banging away. <laughs> the couple who are from Philadelphia, they were arrested and charged with lewdness and disorderly conduct. Again, the ride was part of a week-long training program that trains officers on being uh, on bicycle patrols. And as folks uh, amused, imagine you decided to, I don't know, maybe it's on your bucket list to have uh, sex with your partner along the first base line. And um, of a of a park, and all of a sudden, 25 police officers are right there on bicycles, and you're arrested by 25 police officers. Uh, by the way, the pair was released on thirty thousand uh, dollars, and they are due back in court in July. Daniel, I think there is a um, a couple more lessons in all this. And by the way, for folks who are watching on Take Action News TV on YouTube, uh, an interesting interesting looking couple. I think uh, that in and of itself will uh, be something quite memorable to all of you who are able to see the video of this particular segment. Uh, Daniel Marin's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sex along a baseball diamond, um, the first baseline. I think there's a moral lesson in all of this. Well, I, I, David, I mean, I think there's also a musical lesson, and I, and I want to sing a song that I think is, is very related. It's sky rockets in flight, afternoon <laughs> to light. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, uh, I, it's, um, first of all, I, I just, I think that when we're talking about civil rights, first of all, it was an interracial couple, so I think it's important that we note the progress that's been made. <laughs> that, yes. that had this been an interracial couple having sex publicly in a park, let's say, 40 or 50 years ago, there might be more violence visited upon them than just a mere arrest. Um, especially in the city of Philadelphia, which we know has some history of police brutality. But, uh, yeah. Thirty thousand dollars seems a little steep, don't you think, David? I mean, uh, like uh, that's like bail for a murder charge. I feel like that's a lot of money. Um, and uh, you know, um, I would also say it would be excessive use of force if <laughs> no, not by Richard McBride. <laughs> that, though apparently that was consensual excessive use of force. But uh, the the twenty five uh, bikes on cops on bikes. I mean, I guess they would just happen to be training. It's unfortunate that. You know, um, I, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> uh, you know, they're, they're hotels that rent by the hour. I think that's you know the bottom line. That's but true. sex outdoors is a certain. There's a, there's a certain. Um, it's it is beautiful, you know. Um, but just not the baseball diamond, you know, the kitties. You got to think about that, and that's I think where they really went wrong. Um, like Central Park's big enough. You can usually find. Uh, I mean, not. Anyway, I'm digging myself into a hole here, but I'm well, saying I'm the saying there's, when, there's, when there's sex Michigan, in a park Daniel, and there's sex in a park. You oh, know? When, I, when I was at the University of Michigan, it was the thing that I, I never accomplished. Um, I, you know, my sex life was not 
well, never mind. But um, in Michigan, a lot of people, that was a thing, is to, to break into Michigan Stadium and have sacks on the M on the 50-yard line. That if you did that, that was, like, amazing. Oh, my um, God. Yeah, so the, you know, there are traditions. I would just, get too I anxious, I, I really think. I, you know. <laughs> I just hope um, that the laws applied equally uh, and that if there are youthful indiscretions that are also caught by uh, cops on bicycle, that um, that everybody will be treated the same and that this couple is not being singled out just because of uh, their circumstances. That's all. Um, we're going to pause in 10 seconds. Let our syndicated stations join us. You're listening to Take Action News on We Act Radio. You may also be watching us on our YouTube channel, Take Action News TV, social media with Alan Rosenblatt. Starts right now. 